Alrighty, decided to try some uh, Monero. So I'm getting roughly uh, my own about uh, 10,800 hash at roughly 1,200 watts. It's going to be uh, out of eight cards. Uh, seven. What is it? Four RX Vega 64, two RX Vega 56, and one Vega FE. So my power with fees and everything is a little high, it's about a, a 12.8 cents. So you know, considering power costs, I'll still come out with about 400 bucks, um, more or less. Let's see, but that, that calculator on power has been a little funky actually, I don't really trust it for the power. Uh, I've had to increase the power higher in order to get an accurate estimate. Um, let's see, for 7,000, 10,000, it's probably closer to 1,500 in order to get the number right. Either way, it's about 400 bucks profit according to this. Um, so, the, uh, I had a little trouble getting the, uh, the XMR miners to work. But right now on this computer, I'm actually running the, uh, the Claymore. That's for the Vega FE. And the Vega FE has been roughly 1,200 hash, which is lower than expected. It should be closer to 2,000. Um, but that's also with that, with that miner. Now for the, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the other miner, but the XMR miner, a uh, wolf based one. That one I'm getting closer to 7,100, which is close, is in line with what it should be. Uh, if you do, uh, let's see, 7151 divided by, I got four. It's going to be, that's the one that has two RX Vegas 56 and two RX Vega 64s. That comes out to about 1787, which is a little bit lower. People should be able to get about 1950, which this is not terrible, but it could be better. Um, and I'm using roughly about 140 watts per card. Um, so this one by itself is doing about 300 bucks, which is pretty awesome. Uh, just that, just running that. Let's see. That's the current exchange rate though, that obviously fluctuates. Now this node is actually giving me a lot of trouble. This one has three RX Vega 64s. They should also be close to 1700, but I'm not getting 1700. I'm getting much less. I'm getting an average of about 2600. Uh, which is pretty bad actually, so let's see what that is uh, That'll be about oh, not word right here. I need to activate it <laughs> um, Let's see uh, Two six one three divided by three well, that's terrible that is nowhere near where it should be and I'm also using the XMR um, Note I do have HBCC disabled on both the on both of these uh, rigs uh, it's very unstable to use HPCC. If you sneeze, it'll screw up. It's a pain in the ass. Um, this one does not have HPCC on, or this one. Um, so it's possible that it's stuck, but I don't think so. It's stuck on. I, I doubt it. Now there is uh, some some pretty good instructions online on how to how to set this all up. I'll link it in the description, and uh, that video also links it to a Reddit thread that gives you more specific details. I, Either way though, regardless of not having optimal hash rates, uh, according to the calculator, it's still doing a pretty good, um, pretty good return. I mean, uh, at the current exchange rate, which is about $83, I believe, $84, it's about 449 bucks. So that's not too bad, five coins, which is better than what I'm producing on my Ethereum. Uh, I get about four point, about four coins a month. But of course, the, they're, they're valued much different. Um, at any rate, this is still not a bad deal. So, on my Ethereum, I gave up. Let's see, or my why? I'm just gonna call this line about average, actually, because it hasn't caught up yet. I've gone down, so that would be roughly where am I at? 742. So I was at 900, 907, no, 960, 960. That's about 210 hash that I'm giving up. So 210. Uh, let's see, that's actually the video I'm gonna link later. <laughs> um, so I'm giving up about 210 mega hash power consumption. Uh, this is a little off. I'm gonna go 1500. It's actually closer to 1200, but the the calculator sucks. Okay. So if you look at that, I'm giving up, at the current exchange rate, mind you, it's about 300 bucks a month. I'm giving up about 
158 and trading that for about 400. So that's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. Over over double. Um, if my hash rates were it would be closer to three times better. Um, but it's not, so I'm getting a little over double, which is still not bad, even at inefficient um, production at the moment. The first time mining Monero, I, I never got around to it, <laughs> so now I'm doing it. All right. Um, so yeah, not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. And I, that's with uh, my hash rate being about 10,800. So yeah, I gave it a shot. It's not too bad. Now I will show the equipment real quick. Roll. All right, I'm gonna try to stay away from the fans. They get pretty noisy. All right, so those are the uh, RX Vegas. Uh, the yellow tab is 56. The ones without tabs are 64s. That's an AM3 Plus motherboard. Um, eight, a gigabyte FX990 uh, G1 Gaming. That's been pretty good. It's been good to me for mining. It only does six video cards, but that's plenty. Um, now these, uh, oh man, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of these AS Rock. H110 Pro BTC Plus or whatever. They um, it is a headache. The solder, the PCI lane, uh, the PCI ports are too close. It's not as stable as I would like in general. I have this Gigabyte, the 19 motherboard, uh, 19 piece of correction, 19 PCIe motherboard. That one's awesome. <laughs> it, as initially, if you don't have a setting set right, though, it's a pain in the ass, but after that, it was, it was awesome. I know my camera management is terrible. I'm not going to clean it. And what else? So, when I was mining, the uh, the H110s, they wouldn't mind. They would have a, a minus four error on all the motherboards that, have, that I'm using. That's four of them in there. And on this one, the Gigabyte, it did mine, but it was kind of funky. It, it, it's feather. So I stopped using that when I put it back to Ethereum. Um, the, the, the AM3 does mine just fine, and the A is wrong. Uh, I think it's an AB350, that, that's an AM4 motherboard. It does work, but uh, it's a little finicky as well. I'm not able to get it to mine at the roughly you know, 1800 hash for uh, Monero, as they should. Those are all Vegas 64s, so they should mine that around there. So yeah, and here's a look at the, uh, the XMR stack. Uh, let's see where I'm at. So yeah, I mean it could be a little higher. It should be closer to 900 to 1,000, but you know that's not that's not terrible. It could be better, but you know, it, it's okay. And the settings for the overclock, I keep them the same. Uh, there's no there's just a stock BIOS. I haven't messed with it yet because um, that's a lot of work. <laughs> so. Uh, yep, just roughly a gigahertz to 1.1 gigahertz for the core clock. Memory is at 1100-ish. I use a 1090 because it's a little more stable for me. Uh, fan, almost max, pretty much max. Uh, temperature is 82, 72. That's my, my go-to on temperature. Uh, but my temperature is pretty good right now, 68. So these cars are, are very, they're chilling, they're cruising. Um, for the RX Vega 56, so that was 64 previously. For the 56, I use uh, about 900 megahertz. I have issues with anything past, and for stability, I'll do 890. Good enough. And that can, I mean, that might affect this a little slightly, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, same deal though. A gigahertz, 1.1 gigahertz, and same fan settings. I was running at 58 degrees Celsius. That's pretty good. Keep track of my hotter cards. Anyway. So that's pretty much the setup. 